model for today. Yes, you, sir. Mr. Hitchens, how come it took the most religious country in the Western world to uh, rescue your pretty secular country, Britain, from two world wars and to be the bulwark against communism and now to lead the fight against Islam? Very good question. Um, I mean it. Um, um, there are, I did a correction in two ways. In my country of birth, by the way, let me just say this for the first time. I've been waiting to say it for weeks. My fellow Americans. Um, <laughs> I took, um, if you'll allow me, I took, my, I took my oath at the Jefferson Memorial in Washington on the 13th of April, which is his birthday and mine, and I remind you that he's the author of the Virginia Statute on Religious Freedom, which is the basis of the First Amendment to the Constitution, which makes America a secular country, not a religious one. The only country in the world that says that religion is no business of the state. Uh, but, and, but, and this has had to be defended several times from religious secessionists who wanted to ruin the Union, from those who wanted to impose prohibition, from those who imposed uh, slavery and segregation in the name of the Bible, to those who want garbage taught in the schools now. It's an ongoing battle to keep that constitution the way it is. In my country of birth, the Queen is the head of the church and everyone has to pay money whether they want to or not. Uh, when she dies, her son will become the slobbering, chinless sympathizer of Islam, a witless dauphin who goes to the mosque these days, will become the head of the church. That's what you get when you build a church on the family values of Henry VIII. For all that, I think England was worth saving, so thanks. <laughs>